Uh, another day. Uh, and unfortunately, our Stegosaurus is still gone. Dr. Dido took it. And I, don't, I don't know where he is. He's so evil. God, I want to do something about it. I'm not just going to sit here and, and take it like a baby or anything. I'm just going to go. I'm going to go get some revenge. I'm going to go pay him a visit. Now, what is now? What is our little foot up to? What is he up to? Two days? Ooh, <gasps> 2.75 height. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That updated. So length is 3.21. Yeah, that makes sense. God, he's getting he's getting actually pretty big. I don't know how many uh. How, how many days old it needs to be to like you know be a full adult size but gee he's already huge right now as a little two-year-old or not even two-year-old two days old gee 33 health 2.81 attack damage he could probably do some pretty decent damage if uh if he's a lot larger yeah he can definitely defend us from some stuff probably want to get ourselves like a carnivore to vent to uh defend us if he ever want to get something like that but uh beefy i'm going to go out on a little adventure i'm going to go find dr dino and i'm going to find our stegosaurus and i'm going to bring him back <sighs> okay so i don't i don't know where dr dino lives i have no idea where he is the only thing i know is that my co-workers over at the village probably know where he was or former co-workers i should say because i obviously don't work with them anymore and uh, it's going to be a little bit awkward trying to pay them a visit asking them oh hey you know this dr dino guy do you know where he is do you know where he lives so huh guess i'll be going to the village and i'll see you guys here in a second all right i'm back here at the village let's look around see if we can find any villagers that are in some lab coats maybe oh here's one Ooh, what does this guy have as a hat Ooh, he's got like a little straw hat look at that well anyways uh hey hey there villager how you doing so I just wanted to know, do you know this guy named Dr. Dino? Like, I used to go to college with him. I, I kind of want to go, like, you know, see how he's doing. I haven't talked to him for a while. Well, I guess you're not very much help. Uh, ooh, here's another one right here. Hey, 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 you. Hey, oi, oi, oi. You going in here to research some stuff? Well, I have some questions to ask you. So, I know this guy from college named Dr. Dino. I was wondering if you knew him too, maybe knew where he lived. I wanted to go, I want to go catch up with him. I haven't talked to him for quite a while. Do you... Do you know where he is, or...? Hmm. Okay, so... The village that's... That, that way. That way I'm over... That way over there, right? The one that's by the... The sand temple, right? Huh. Okay. Huh. Well, anyways, thank you very much, uh, Mr. I don't even know what your name is. <laughs> anyways, wow. So apparently Dr. Dino lives at that sand village, that sand, it wasn't even like a sand village, it was like a, it was a village that was right next to the desert, so, hmm, the one that was over there by the sand temple, you know, so we need to head over there, and pay him a visit, probably, probably have to do that sometime at night or something, just to make sure, actually, you know what, maybe, maybe even during the day, that's probably better than going at night, oh, ho, ho, avoid that quicksand, that's probably better than going at night, you know, so he'll actually be gone, he won't know that we're there, all right, well, I'm going to head towards the Sand Temple Village. Oh, 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 I thought that was... Oh, it is quicksand. God, you get me. You get me. God, get out of the quicksand. Get out of the quicksand. Oh, no. No, get out of the quick... Oh, oh, jeez. I have got to stop being so dumb. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's head over to that village real quick and see if we can go find his house. Get our Stegosaurus back and save the day. Ooh, it's just like right over that ridge. All right, the village is like right around this. Oh, there it is right there. And I just wanted to notice th there is this like coral reef over here. I, I, I'm, maybe I want to explore that sometime in the future. What is this, kelp? Uh, yeah, it is kelp. Do I get anything from it? Can I use this kelp for anything? I've never, never explored any of these coral reefs before, so I don't know if you could actually use them for anything useful. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's kelp right there. Oh, no, ri no, wait, no recipe. What about usages? Ooh, ambrosia. You can make ambrosia out of it. Kelp cover and ambrosia. Ooh, okay. So I guess that's the only thing you can make out of it. Ooh, the sun. I think the sun is starting to set. It feels a little bit darker. Either that or it's... Nope, nope. Sun is close to setting, you know, but we need to hurry this up before he gets home. Okay, so we're at the village right now. I don't know. This village isn't even that big, right? Yeah, it's not even that big, so finding his house shouldn't be that hard. Let's see. Let's see. This is the blacksmith. Obviously, that wouldn't be his house. Uh, hot dog head right there. Ooh, there's a villager in the cave. What are you doing there, villager? A lot of iron in there, too. Look at that. Three veins of iron right off the bat. Uh, I don't think this is... Yeah, that's got to be the hot dog head's house. Here's a, here's a butcher right there. I don't know where he just, oh, there he is. Yeah, this isn't, this obviously isn't his house because it's like all, you can't even go inside of it. <laughs> Although it is probably the right house. Like if, the, if he did have a house here, it'd probably be that library looking house. 
Uh, that probably wouldn't be it. He's a he's a doctor, so obviously he could afford a full sized house. I don't think this is his house either. It's completely empty. Nothing inside of it. And is there any more houses? Here's the church. I don't think that he works at the church or lives at the church. But uh, oh, here's the last. Oh, oh, Stegosaurus is sitting. What? I didn't even do anything. Apparently, he must be nearby because oh, here's the Dino resident. Okay, okay. I think I think I think I can hear Stegosaurus. I think I can hear him. We didn't even name him yet. Wow, I just realized that we didn't even name him yet. Okay. Okay, so he's got to be somewhere over here. And uh, there's only this suspicious looking lever right here. And ooh, what is this? Is this a... This has got to be it. This has got to be the lab. This has got to be where Dr. Dino's lab is. Now, can I like do this thing where I just like... Oh, can I like... Oh, can I like... Because I don't, I don't want to... No, 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 come on, come on, oh, come on, whatever. Ooh, oh, oh, is that him? Is that him? Oh, I hear Stegosaurus. Okay, that isn't him. Okay. Oh, oh, we did it. Okay, okay. So if he does come home, he's not going to suspect a thing with his lab completely open. Oh, jeez, this is a pretty cool lab. I wish my lab looked like this. It's all like white quartz and clean and stuff. He's got. Oh my God, he's got. He got Jurassic Craft stuff up and running already. Ooh, that must be why he stole my dinosaur. He didn't want to go through all the troubles of, of getting the DNA and, like, cultivating it and all that stuff. He didn't, maybe he didn't even know how to do it because he's so stupid. All right, what's inside of this chest here? Lab day. What? This is a note that I left him back in college. What is this? Why does he still have this? Huh, let's read it. Hey, Rex, I'll need you to cover for me next Wednesday's lab day. Going to Belgium to visit some Belgian waffle family. I owe you one. Waffle. Wow. That was forever ago. Jeez, I don't even remember writing that. Recipe for crime-fighting little girl. What? Recipe for crime-fighting little girls. Sugar, spice, everything nice. Optional chemical X. Okay. Well, I guess I'll put that up. I was in this other chest here. Congrats on your perfect grades. Huh. You didn't get perfect grades and... No, we didn't. Congratulations on your perfect grades. We are very impressed with your accomplishment and would like to offer you 64 diamonds. Jay Morrison, University of Minecraft. What? No way. No way you got a stack of diamonds for perfect grades. Now what is this? The deed is done by Bob? Huh. Now what is this? Hey Rex, I have updated your grades for all your classes. Please let me know if you need any other things hacked. Bob, April 10, 2000. Ooh! Ooh, that explains it. That explains his perfect grades. Ooh, his grades were actually perfect. He had some guy hack into a school system and change the grades. Ooh, I am keeping that. I am keeping that as well. And you know what? I'm going to keep that recipe for crime fighting little girls just in case I want to make any crime fighting little girls and maybe make a TV show out of it. Well, anyways, ooh, is this. Is a, oh, there's Stegosaurus! Oh, man! Okay, we need to save him. There's the button right there. Oh, so how are we going to get him out of here? This is like straight up underground. I guess we have to dig through here. I don't know. I, I guess so. so. How am I going to dig out here? I don't think, yeah, this pick can't even break this quartz. I think I need to make a... Like, uh, let's get a regular iron pick. We should be able to break it, no problem. Let's see. Uh, gotta go in here. Gotta get some acacia. Crafting table and a little bit of sticks. Oh, is that him? Oh man, we need to hurry up. We need to hurry up. Come on, crafting table. Uh, crafting table. Sticks. Oh my god, let's make the iron pick hurry up. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just finally got the upgrade. <laughs> the achievement getting an upgrade. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's just go, let's go, let's go. Come on, we need to make this thing a little bit bigger for Stegosaurus to fit through. Oh, ho, 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 come on. Okay, we need to start staircasing out. Come on. Oh, use the excavator. Let's make our way out. Oh, there we go. There's land up there. Come on, Stegosaurus. Come on. Not sitting anymore. Get up. Come on. Come on. Come on, Stegosaurus. Get up. Get up here. Get up. Oi. Oi. Get up. Come on. Oh my god, Stegosaurus. You need, to, you need to get up there. You need to get up there. Come on. Come on. He's coming. He's coming. He is coming. Come on, Stegosaurus. Go. 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 Come on. I, I see you jumping. I see you jumping. Come on. Oh, we have to make a break for it. Make a break. Jump. Jump. Do some parkour! Oh no, skeleton! Oh, oh no! Stegosaurus! Oh! Oh, oh, come on, Stegosaurus, get in! Come on, come on! Oh, 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 yes! Yes! Oh, you're out! You're out! Okay, get over here, Stegosaurus! I need you to sit down! Oh, okay. Okay, I need to hide the evidence before he realizes that we were here. And maybe even find, like, a decoy to put in here. Oh my god, hurry up! Oh man, we need to find a decoy! We need to- Oh, there's a chicken! There's a chicken! Go in there, chicken! Go! Go, 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 go! Go in through the lab! Go in through the lab, king chicken! <laughs> go in through the lab! No! He's stuck in the corner! Oh, oh, 
Oh, come on. How how's Dr. Dino not gone down into his lab just yet? How is he that dumb? No, no, chicken. Oh, oh, go down in there. Oh, 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 no, oh, chicken, keen chicken. Come on. You're ruining my plan. Do I have leads? Oh my god, do I have leads? Oh, I don't think I have leads. Oh, come on, king chicken. King chicken, gotta go in there. Gotta go in the lab. Gotta go in the lab. Come on, you have feathers. You are a bird. So obviously you're you're related to dinosaurs. Come on, come on. If you're, you know, go by that. By that theory of, you know, dinosaurs used to have feathers theory. Oh, oh, there we go. I'll take my crafting table back. Come on, hurry up. Break, 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 break. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, chicken, you stay in there. There we go. Oh, 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 I think we got away with it. I think we got away with it. There we go. Let's place the last bits of dirt. Oh, there we go. He's not going to suspect a thing. Oh, <laughs> come on, Stegosaurus. Let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, my God. This feels fantastic. All right. Where is he at? Come on, Stegosaurus. Come on. Go on. You're not sitting anymore. Come on, Stegosaurus. You gotta go. We've gotta go home. We gotta make a break for it. He's probably going down to his lab. That is it. I'm going home. Stegosaurus, you better follow me. All right, guys. We have arrived back. Come on, Stegosaurus. Come on. Come on. Get back inside the house. Come on. There you go. Let's just push him back in there. Ho oh, ho. All right, Beefy. Look at this. We have saved the day. We have Stegosaurus back in. We have evidence. Of apparently Dr. Dino cheating on his grain, so we can use that to blackmail him. He's gonna know that those those things are missing. He's gonna know that I know. Alright. There it goes, stick a sword. Wow. Alright, you're still zero. Okay, you're still zero days old. 20 health. Pretty good speed. 0.44 speed. What about uh Brachiosaurus? Oh, yeah, you're about twice as fast as Brachiosaurus. Ooh. So if I do ride a dinosaur, you're probably gonna be the one over Brachiosaurus over there, or Littlefoot there. So there you go. Speaking of Littlefoot and names. We still need to name you, little guy. Like, we just hatched you, and then Dr. Diner comes over here, acts like he owns the place, and just takes you. So we need to name you. And I've been getting tons of comments saying that I should name the Stegosaurus Lego. So there you go, Lego the Stego <laughs> over here. So now we have Lego the Stegosaurus and Littlefoot the Brachiosaurus. And I know that Littlefoot in the little uh, movie and stuff like that wasn't technically a Brachiosaurus, but you guys did leave comments saying you wanted uh, Brachiosaurus to be the Littlefoot. So there we go. Now we have two dinosaurs completely named and everything and I do believe we have one more dinosaur egg that we have to hatch out here the Herodos the Herosaurus egg god I can never pronounce that uh I don't know I don't know if that's a carnivore omnivore or what so hmm just to be safe I think it's time to construct ourselves a new a new area here for that dinosaur now where in the world are all of my cobblestone at did I put it all up I think I did uh, I think I did oh wait I still have some cobblestone walls so I can still use those and one singular cobblestone. All right, so to build the thing, yeah, you have to like start it out here and then go all the way to the wall, right? Yeah, you go all the way to the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so this is going to be this is going to be a pretty fairly big, you know, dinosaur area here for, you know, carnivores, omnivores, whatever that Herosaurus is. So let's see. It goes all the way out to here-ish. So let's get rid of this tall grass. Yeah, we should probably get rid of the tall grass inside of our actual uh, herbivore dinosaur area too, you know? Oh, Beefy, you stay inside. You stay in there. So wow, wow, today was a fantastic day. Very productive. We saved the day and everything like that. The only thing is that we have like no cobblestone, so we can't even finish like making the perimeter of this new dino area. So yeah, we have absolutely no cobblestone. So we're probably gonna have to go back to the village real quick. Grab all of our cobblestone. Yeah, we have a little bit of cobblestone there, but it is I don't think it's enough to make Yeah, I don't think it's enough to make, you know. Uh, it might yeah, I think it might be enough to finish that at least, so Let's see, there we go, there's six. It might be, I don't know if it, uh, now that, now that I'm like out here and seeing it, yeah, this is definitely not gonna be able to finish it, so. There we go, and yep, yep. Oh yeah, that was close, that was close, what was that, three? Yep, three, three cobblestone walls away from finishing. Uh, all right, well anyways, I think this is a perfect place to end the episode right now, cause, oh beefy, what, what are you doing? You're trying to, you're trying to escape, huh? Or at least you're trying to get a good view, huh? Maybe that's what you're trying to do, yeah. <laughs> anyways, wow. I think we should go inside here and break all this tall grass, because I think I did get a comment saying that we should break the tall grass. So there you go. Ooh, we're getting some seeds too, so we can definitely feed these guys if they're ever, like, injured. No, no. Yeah, none of them are injured. You can't even, like, feed them even if you wanted to, right? So if I get a seed, I can't even... Oh, he's sitting... Yeah, you can't even feed them unless they're injured. So there you go. There we go. And I do get comments saying that I should make, like, a feeder 
for these guys, but this mod does not, this dinosaur mod does not have like a feeder like the archaeology and fossils mod has a feeder, so unfortunately it's not the same as that mod, but we do still have the ability to ride these dinosaurs and maybe we'll do that here in the future, but I think for that we need like a carrot on a stick. Stuff like that. Carrot on a stick, beef on a stick for like carnivores, fish on a stick for carnivores, apple on a stick. That looks like a carrot though. Is <laughs> it a weed on a stick? Pork on a stick? Yeah. If we get like weed on a stick, I think we'll be able to ride these guys, no problem. Anyways, it is getting nighttime outside and uh, I'm getting a little bit tired as well, so I think I'm going to go to bed. Uh, the morning sun rises over the horizon for another new day. Wow, this feels fantastic. So, anyways, do we still have the hair resource? I know we don't. Uh, it's still over here. Okay. So, mmm. Actually, you know what? Before, maybe we shouldn't end it just yet. Yeah, here's some cobblestone down here. We can easily get some with the iron hammer, no problem. And there we go. And there we go. Alright. Let's break another one just for safe measure. And we can lay down the hair resource egg real quick. And then by next episode, hopefully it'll be hatched, or at least close to hatching, so... Wow, I'm actually getting pretty excited for this, getting pretty excited for these uh, juicy dinosaurs we're going to be having here. I don't even know what we're going to do once we have them all. Like, once we have a pretty good amount of dinosaurs, I might just, you know, let them free or something, you know, just let them roam the earth. And have a Jurassic World once more, who knows. Anyways, let's, uh, let's make some more cobblestone walls, there you go, up to 36. And let's just finish the perimeter and lay down the egg. Uh, we don't have the egg in our inventory just yet. There we go. And let's place that there. Alright, Beefy. You, you want to see this brand new dot? Well, he's not going to be a dinosaur just yet. He's just going to be a little egg. So, there we go. And, uh, oh yeah, do we have dirt? Oh uh, yeah, we have a little bit of dirt. Yeah, we should fill this in so he doesn't escape. There we go. And I think we, up, we need one more dirt. Come on, dirt. I need more dirt. Needs more of that disgusting dirt. Oh, there we go. Eight dirt. I'll take that. And there we go. Let's get rid of the tall grass. And actually, let's lay down the egg. There we go. Ooh, yeah, it's like a red egg. Ooh, 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 I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Now, what is this? I don't know what this thing is going to look like. Hopefully, it's going to look pretty cool and dank roonies. Let's see. Do we have any tor- Oh, we can make torches. So, let's, uh, let's make ourselves another set of torches. There we go. Let's place that there. God, what? What? Oh, it's doing that thing where it, like, glitches in my inventory again. So, if I put it- Yeah, look at that. It's just like- What? what where did my sticks go? What? God, this is so confusing. This is so confusing sometimes. Anyways, whatever. I guess I'll make torches on my own where it doesn't glitch out. Anyways, wow, we have another egg. This is going to be our carnivore area if this guy turns out to be a carnivore. I'm going to have to do some research on a Herosaurus and see if that guy's a carnivore, omnivore, or a uh, herbivore. But for now, I'm just going to leave him here just to be safe. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all for watching. And I will see you guys here next time on another episode of Jurassic World where we will be seeing the Herosaurus egg hatch and hopefully get some more dinosaurs cultivated. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. No!